Hello, everybody. I'm in the letter. Oh, my God. And every time I say something, another letter falls out of the box. Hi. Hello. Welcome back to In the Little Box. I don't want to do it too much because this box is massively rammed and piled up this week. But welcome back. This is the weekly PO Box show on my channel where I open all of your mail. And I'm going to put the PO Box to one side very quickly because I actually received just a random surprise earlier this week. Um, a website that I've mentioned very offhand on Twitter like a couple of weeks back when I saw a product which turned out to be fake. It was like a fake April Fool's product that was still on the store like three weeks later. Um, they basically must have seen my tweet and just decided to send me a care package, which I thought was really cool. So the company is called Firebox. This isn't like one of those subscription services. This is kind of like, you know, you see those like men shops. It's called like Menkind or like general gadget and guy shops. It's kind of like that, but an online version of it. So I thought I would open this bad boy up and find out exactly what they sent to me. So there's a nice little flash card here, which looks nice. Um, it says, hey, Martin, we heard you were a Firebox fan. So we thought we'd get in touch. We'd love to make uh, you a flump face and some N7 fr or M7 fronts, I think that says. Uh, get in touch if you're interested and then an email address for that. I think the flump face is like they want to print my face on a marshmallow. <laughs> I'm like so down for that. Inside are what I can only assume are giant slippers. Um, and they look really adorable from the side. You're like, oh, look, it's a cute bunny with a horrible mouth. Giant teeth. Look at that. So you can put that on your foot and... And away you go. There's a, like a little hole there as well. I don't know what you're supposed to hide in that hole. Maybe you could put like, I don't know, like a pencil? <laughs> I literally have no idea. Good lord. All right, so we got that. Um, we have this thing. So if you're a child watching, if your parents are in the room, you might want to mute the volume just for a second. You ready? Because this is fucking strong coffee. <laughs> it's, it's literally called fucking strong coffee. I'm going to put this in the other room because I don't drink coffee, but I'm going to give it to the rest of the yogs. So it's apparently a complex and dark roast blend of Brazilian and Honduran Arabica coffee. Um, and it even has one of the uh, ingredients or like the descriptions of it. It says full bodied and fucking flavoursome. Oh, see, I, I don't know if I'll use this. Okay. I'm, I know this isn't like a great topic to talk about, but you know when you get stressed? or when you get angry about stuff. I'm not a person that can turn to a stress ball. Um, I more, more so just want to break things. I don't know if anybody remembers that really old episode of Tracy Beaker where they give Crash literally a room to throw plates at a wall. And I know there are actual places in real life now where you can go and do this, but stress mushrooms or stress balls aren't for me, but this thing is very weird to hold. It's a very odd texture. It's not kind of watery. It feels more like it's got sand inside of it, and it kind of holds its shape as well. So if you go like that, it almost like holds form. So there you go. We've got a stress mushroom, which is all good. Uh, what else is inside of here? We've got a... Oh, no. <laughs> We've got a misfortune cookie. This isn't going to end well. Shall I Shall I read them and weep, as it says on the box? Oh, there's loads of them. Oh, my God. This is amazing. I'm only going to do one for now. I'm going to take these home and maybe, like, in a vlog with, like, Kai and other people, um, we can open them up. I think I can have these. So whenever somebody comes around to our house, we can vlog them and see what their, uh, what their misfortune cookie reads. Oh, there you go. Can you eat fortune cookies? I'm going to have to Google this. I don't know if you actually eat them or if they are just there to, to break open. And to read something out of, oh god, yeah, I'll just put it in the box, it's fine. Alright, so my misfortune reads, Right now is the best you're ever going to feel. Misery awaits. Give up. Your lucky animal is the horsehair worm. Good. <laughs> That's a really positive spin to start the video on today. Uh, what else have we got inside of here? We've got some instant regret. 11 chocolate bullets. One is infused with 1 million Scoville chilli. Do you, f oh, I'm not good with hot stuff. Offensively hot chili chocolate roulette. I've got I guess I've got water, but water doesn't really help any milk if anything I, I, I'll do it. Fuck it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for it. This could very well go horribly wrong I'm just gonna warn you now like there is nobody in the office, so I'm a bit worried about this Okay, so here we go. These are the chili bullets or all of them are chocolate bar one oh, And they all smell like chocolate as well <laughs> no, I'm really dreading this um I'm gonna go for that one. This one right here. Okay, you ready? Let's go for it. Oh, thank God. I think that's normal chocolate. Oh, yes. Okay, we're good, we're good. What I might do is I might play this with people in the office and see who gets the hot one. So I've still obviously got these left over. There you go. I've thrown the spare in there. I don't know which slot it's got into. So if I play this with some people in the office, this is going to go wonderfully. That could very easily have been the misery that was awaiting me inside of the misfortune cookie. Um, what else have we got inside of here? Uh, we've got some abusive balloons. 
Oh, good lord. <laughs> Hold on a second. This is pretty much just becoming a firebox unboxing, which I might just let it happen and do a PO box next week. It says, happy fucking whatever. <laughs> and just let it go. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, God, I'm such a child. What else have we got? We've got some juicy lips. Just random. I think this is kind of like, uh, is it Game Tea or is it QWERTY? That always just randomly send Haribo inside of their packages. So we've got some juicy lips. It doesn't look like there's any kind of like problem inside of those. I don't think these are going to harm me in any kind of way. Um, and then other than that, we have got a, oh my God. I love this. Okay, this everybody is a slush cuppy. So this one isn't as jokey and pranky as all the other ones, but I think, I don't think it comes with the stuff to make a slushy, but it's more so just a cup to drink it out of. Oh, I see. Can I freeze this? I think I can freeze this to make it really, really cold or refrigerate this part at least. And then when I sit inside of there, whatever goes into the actual cup, um, it's really, really cool. And if I do happen to have a slushy, I can have like the, the straw end of it as well. That is so cool. Well, there we go. That is the firebox stuff. All right, enough of that nonsense. Let's get on with some normal mail opening. Uh, I'm going to start with a letter because obviously we've just opened what is technically a package. So I am going to go for this one. It's come all the way from the United States. I think it's come from Indianapolis. It has, yeah, it's come from Indianapolis. Amazing. And it does have a reef stamp on it. So this is probably from Christmas time. Uh, we have actually had a ton of mail, which is why this box is so massively piled this week. So we've had a lot of new stuff. So... Um, I'm going to try and open from the top for this week. So hopefully we get some stuff sent in like 2015 at the very least. But anyway, there are two bits inside of here. We have got a... Oh, we got an avatar drawing and whatnot, which is pretty cool. And then we have a letter inside of here as well. So the letter reads... Dear in the Littlewood, also known as Martin. Hello, my name is Dominic. And I'm 11 years old and I live in Indianapolis. I'm surprised I can say that without getting tongue twisted. Uh, I've been watching your channel for three years now and I loved it at first sight. I'm not very popular and I get bullied, but your videos have always been there to cheer me up when I get home. I just started a YouTube channel as well, and I love to make music and draw manga. You've been a major influence on my content and what games I play. I hope you keep posting energetic, cheery, and awesome content with lots of love from Dominic Coolstream. That's a cool username. There we go, Dominic. I'm sorry to hear about the stuff you're going through. Try not to let it get to you. Of course, as always, as much as you might not want to, um, tell, a, tell a parent, tell a teacher, say tell anybody, because... What are they going to say? Oh, you're a snitch. But they already clearly dislike you anyway, or they're clearly already noobs as it is. So you're not going to be any worse off for having done so. So please, I implore anybody that's been bullied, speak to somebody. Even if it's not a teacher or somebody like that, speak to somebody maybe in the year up, like, you know, in the school years up. Speak to somebody who might be able to speak to them and, you know, hopefully diffuse the situation. I reckon we'll do another letter. I reckon we're going to go letter heavy for this half of the PO box, just purely because we opened up that massive firebox box. Uh, this is a letter and it says to Martin, I love your Minecraft uh, video so much that I wanted to draw you. And that is from Tyler. That's short and sweet, this letter. So there you go. There is Tyler's drawing. I think I've actually got, I don't know if that's a piece of lapis or I would really like to think and I know it's not, but I'd like to think that it's a Blitz Ball from Final Fantasy X <laughs> because I absolutely love the Blitz Ball. It's so good. Oh, I can see just on the back you've done very, very slight sapling swirls. Luckily the camera can see that to an extent. Uh, let me open this bad boy up. On the back it just says RT. I wonder if there's going to be some fan art inside of here. I feel like maybe this has accidentally gotten unsellotaped from maybe another package. Okay, so there's some there's some kind of like point card. So there are lots of different versions of me and other people like that. And it's kind of got like a score system. So that says in the little word, points 95. I want to find out what this scoring system is all about. I wonder if these are like my own little, uh, what's they called? Trump cards. That's what I'm thinking of. And they might be trump cards. Uh, let's have a little read of the letter. It says two in the little word, also known as Martin. You are so cool and your videos are really good and they help me get through the day. I really like in the little dream and also in the little box as well. And I really enjoyed Tom, uh, Tom and Dachi life. I hope you like the 12 trading cards. Okay, so they're trading cards. They are handmade and painted by me, so sorry about the drawing quality and the spelling. Best wishes, and that is from Ben. So let's have a look through all these trading cards. So we've obviously got, we've got Bog Standard in the Littlewood for those points. We have got a subscriber for 86 points. Oh, there you go. We've got that one. We have got, <laughs> we've got YouTube who just have infinity points. Because they own the whole world and the universe and they are Google. Uh, we've got Prisoner Me, which is good. We've got me from The Escapist. 
So we've got me like that. And then I like that there's there's Martin, just like normal me. So this is me when I'm not like in the little wood. This is like my my behind closed doors self. Uh, but there you go. I got a hundred points. That's even more than the little wood. Was it gonna focus? There you go. I can see it now. Uh, we've got <laughs> I love the drawing of Link actually. We've got Link for 89 points. I've noticed a lot of people seem to have 89 points in this thing. There you go. Now you can see Link. Uh, we have got Kai really close on the spelling. You only missed out one letter. Um, you missed out the Y, but you actually got the A and the E the right way around. So there you go. We've got Kai and how many points is she? Is that 98? She's got 98 instead of 89. Uh, we've got Shin. Look at this. We've got Shin. He's got 91 points on his training card. Oh, this this is a face that I'm dreading seeing. I actually just completed the game uh, yesterday. Oh, God. So you would have seen it go out earlier this week. The finale of Majora's Mask. There's Majora's Mask as a training card. Uh, we've got Kiki. Kiki's got 75 points. See her adorable little face just there. Uh, we also have Pascal. Of course, you can't have one cat without the other. Pascal. After watching uh, Jenna Marbles' video of how she uh, explains comments about her dogs, because uh, obviously she's got a, a dog called Kermit, but she calls it a her Anselmit. Um, and we've started calling Kiki and Pascal Kiki and Pascal. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I shared that, but that's just random uh, Martin things. And then we also have, of course, Simon with 80, is that 87 points? 87 points, there you go. And the full 60 card deck is coming in 2016, so keep an eye out for that on store.yogscast.com. <laughs> it's not, it's really not. No, I'm joking. Right, um, let's open up with, let's finish the show off with a box, because I like this tiny box, it's adorable. Okay, so inside the box there were uh, actually three different envelopes, and each of them has like a very nice kind of like watercolour sapling swirl on the front of it. So, uh, the first one reads, Dear in the Littlewood, also known as Martin. First First of all, sorry for typing up the fan mail instead of the usual carefully handwritten ones. No, I actually prefer it. I know as daft as it sounds, if you're sending a letter, then it might as well be written because we have emails for that other thing. Uh, but it does make it easier for me to read. But anyway, for considering my poor handwriting, I think that this is a compromise that I have to make. Uh, my name is Ray, your RYC03 on YouTube. Uh, I've been watching your channel for a few years now and seeing so many younglings send you fan mail, but not much from the more mature audiences, compels me to write to you. Man, I'm only 30 years old, but I feel old already. Now, 30 is the new 40, isn't it? Everybody says that about whatever age they are. <laughs> but anyway, um, it says, I especially enjoy watching your adventure with Dan in the Little and Cube series, and to show my appreciation for all of the amusement you and Dan have provided me over the years, I've made you something. Please see inside the box. Okay, so I have pulled this out, and I already worked out pretty quickly what this is. So if you look at this, you might think it's a bit of a jumbled mess. It's just some random 3D printed thing, but if you line it up properly, Ah, see? Oh, and apparently these are for us to keep as well. Amazing. Um, it says, I'm a mechanical engineer by trade, and although I'm not a great artist, one thing I can do is 3D modelling. So here is a 3D pair of desk ornaments of the sapling swirl. Oh, wait, is that one the nerd cube symbol? Oh, I've obviously held it from the wrong direction. Hold on a second. Oh my god, I totally missed that. Okay, check this out, right? Okay, so that is head on. That's the sapling swirl. And then if I turn it this way, so hold on, wait, wait. Sapling swirl. Nerd Cube logo, or oh, sorry, that way. Nerd Cube logo. I completely missed that. That is that is very impressive. Uh, since Dan does not have a fan mail address, I hope that you will be able to deliver it to him uh, in my place somehow. I would definitely try to. I think that's really, really cool. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. Oh, it's so good. It's so clever. So there we are, everybody. That is it for this week. We have had misfortune cookies. We've had chili or chocolate. We've had really cool fan mail and the most amazing 3D printing I've ever seen in my life. This is definitely up there. I would probably say as my favorite PO Box episode ever. So thank you very much for watching. If you ever want to send something to this show, all the information is in the description, or you can go to yogscast.com and on the contact page, you'll find the PO Box address there. And I will hopefully see you all next week after my holiday. Well, I might have a tan. No, I just burned. <laughs> I'm so pale, I just burn all the time. So you get to see a lobster version of me next time. Bye-bye.